to JLo. Hmm. Don't do ben, it. Then don't do it. Don't but do also it. to Scammer. If second of all, girl, if you don't know Tam um Tamara Braxton oh, and yes. that Jerry Robinson, the one with the five baby mm, mamas, mamas or whatever. Oh, yes. Ben is trying to pull a Jeremy on Tamara. Uh, that's what he he's trying to do, which basically what we're saying he's is trying that to pull a JJ Lo a is, Jeremy on J Lo. Right. Like you need to see that Yes, you guys yeah. have broken up. A lot of people who actually can see with their eye sockets and are yes. doing their research can see that Ben scammed J Lo. Yes. Like if you actually look at the facts, yes. you look into their relationship, mm -hmm. and you have done your research, mm -hmm. you will come to that conclusion fairly yes. quickly. And okay. Even people who do not like J Lo have turned the corner. They have turned. They'll be like, but what he did was wrong. So he has taken some hits on his popularity, right? And people are like, oh, well, you go, J-Lo. One thing I admire about J-Lo, she don't waste no time. She keeps it moving, keeps her chin up, shows her strength, and keeps it pushing. And you will never see any man break her down where she going to be out here looking some kind of way. And then also we're so, seeing that Matt Damon was apparently consoling her. So it's not like what he was thinking it was. He's not, yeah. he was thinking that, oh, I will bring it with J-Lo and people would hate her and attack Even her more. and be like, oh, she's the one who can't keep a man. But no, people are looking at you, Mr. I sleep with the nanny, I cheat on my wife and I'm an alcoholic. And people look, are looking at you. And, and I stepped kind of on like, her neck to get, to get some money from her. Yes, and then this man who also is worth 150 million, mm -hmm. J-Lo is worth 400 million. And then yes. she got no prenup. So the fact that people are seeing Almost half that, a billion. Yeah, okay. the fact that people are seeing that she got no prenup lets people know that she actually really, really wanted this to work. This is somebody that she has, I don't want to say pining for, but obviously he's been in her subconscious for about 20 years. Yeah, in that rear view mirror. In that rear view mirror, mm -hmm. probably has been looking back. She didn't actually move forward. So people are starting to realize that this was actually something real for J-Lo. She was yeah. already here on interview talking about, he told me this is forever. He yes. put on the engagement, engagement rate. I'm not going nowhere. Just for his raggedy ASS yes. to move out when Ooh. she was on tour. I know. Is, so that the actions, is that the actions of a man who's not going nowhere? That's the action of a man who, um, except with a nanny. Those low morals. Children. That, yes, that's a man with no, low morals, no character, no ethics. Okay, a cowardly. A yeah. coward. I don't want to call him a man, but that's not a man. That's a coward. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I think this whole thing is. He's realizing it's just like with Jeremy and Tamara. Mm -hmm. He realized, oh, I am probably better with her because people are coming here and they're hating me, they're attacking me. Mm -hmm. But he went there for a little bit of time, got married to Tamara. I yes. did not even know this, but yes. he doesn't claim the marriage. But she has the 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 uh, marriage license and all yes, that stuff. He does. But he went back with her, but obviously he didn't really want to be with her, so he broke up with her, and now they're back doing it again and all this stuff. Right. But Ben is seeing that people and are starting... And now she looks silly. Tamara looks silly because it's like, why did you go back to him? We all said don't go back to him. And this and is what's to about to happen him. with J-Lo, I feel, because my thing is Ben has proven himself not to really be there for the right reasons, but yeah. I think he's starting to realize that people are seeing him for what he is, which I believe it is a fraud. Mm -hmm. And J-Lo is still falling for it, because one, I'm sure she's thinking, you know, I don't want to really go through another divorce, um, but also, I this is the love of my life, this is who I love, this is who I thought was supposed to, like, it, that is hard as shit. Like, coming from mm. my own experience, mm. like, it's really hard when you have this, um, thought of somebody in your Someone head in your rear and you're in your yes. rear view thinking yes. that this person is going to be your person mm -hmm. and then it's like when it happens it's like not what you expect so yes. it's like but it's like years of thinking about this person in this yeah. light and then it's like oh my god this yeah. this the shit i'm seeing ain't the shit i was imagining mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying 
and she's like having to sit down here and be like, oh my God, he has what do I and do? Begged. And she's trying her best yes. to make it work, but she doesn't really want to leave him. This, this woman has a lot to lose if she does get a divorce. But I think it's but better to divorce. But much to lose because it's only two years. How much it's is it going to give him? But if he, if he decides to stay for 10 years, then it's a lot more to lose. You know what I'm saying? So I and feel he like... probably will come back and sit back for five good years. Like how Brian did with Rachel. Yeah. So that he can get much more. And you were there in L.A. You see, that's where Rachel was. And yeah. so that's why Brian was able to get, what, 13000 a month? That's a like, ridiculous that's like, number. That's even more than he makes as a chiropractor. So now he don't even have to work doing that. I mean, he just has retire. to cross his legs at home. And save half and that money. Nothing. And he can put that money towards his new family. So oh, I yes. feel like the fact that they were seen That's what kissing, about doing, yeah. they were seen kissing, mm-hmm. holding hands again, mm-hmm. and their children were there. If I were you, J Lo, I will go through the divorce. I will not be holding his hand. Let me give you some advice. I will not be holding Ben's hand or kissing him. I will say, oh, okay, you're in it for the long run. We're still going to get this divorce though, because the next time I marry you, I need a prenup. That was my mistake this time. And you have broken my trust. Right. And while I want to see, you know, we, we make mistakes. Maybe you got scared or whatever. I get it. And I really want to be with you But you're 60 mm-hmm. something years old. No, no. Pushing listen, 70. You really, and you got scared again? Listen, you want to give him a chance. You just, just, just do this, J-Lo. If he's really on the up and up, he will still be with you. But you tell him the divorce is going through. That divorce is going through. If we get married again, and I'm not getting married to you right away, if we get married again, there's going to be an ironclad prenup. Because I can't know. Mm-mm. It's not about trust. It is I about trust. I gave you all my trust before. And you so see. now, what you need to do now is show me that you are not in it for the money. You're in it for the up because. Before, I gave you my trust. I did it without a prenup. Now I'm going to have a prenup. And then I would have to think about the money thing. We can just love each other. We can just love each other. And when nobody has to worry about, you know, what you have. I'm not trying to take your stuff, your little house in Georgia. And you ain't trying to take my $68 million house in L.A., right? So now we don't have to worry about money. Let's just worry about our love. Just have the prenup so we don't have to worry about money. That's what you do, j And if he's on the up and up, he will, he will still marry you. Yeah. That's how you know if he's on the up and up. Don't kiss him. Don't be holding his hand. Don't do none of that stuff. Let him be on a six-month probation. Don't even touch him. I'll say but one you year. Can, you can hang out with him, with the kids and all that stuff because maybe you guys rushed into it too quickly. So, yeah, you guys can go for a stroll. But all that holding hand that you all did and, and kissing, kissing in public, all that stuff in public with him, don't do that no more. Don't work with him. It makes you look bad. Don't work with him. Don't work with him no don't more. Don't be holding his hand, kissing him in public, telling you do that over there inside, indoors. Okay? Keep your relationship private. But yeah, you guys can hang out with your kids out in public. That's fine. You know, yeah. you can smile at him. But none of that stuff. None of that stuff. Yeah, this That's is That's all just... I'll say, J-Lo. J-Lo, you better listen. <laughs> you better listen. Because this man, the only reason why he's coming back, this is what I feel. And maybe it's, maybe that's not the case. But how will you know? You wouldn't know. Okay? The only reason why I think he's coming back is to do the little Jeremy, what he did to Tamar. Come back. But he's going to stay. Tamar. 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 He's going to stay much longer than Jeremy. See, he's going to stay. Jalen is not a hard person to live with. He's going to stay for a good five years. He might even stay for seven years. Maybe even ten. If Pedro can stay with Chantel for seven good years. Really, it was nine out. years because they dated Shoot. for a while. Okay, Ben will come and cross his hands and legs. And remember, Ben is, what, 40? I think he just turned 50. I think, or he's 49. He, he will stay with you just before he turns 60. And then go and get a whole new relationship. Like Leonardo with DiCaprio. With your money. With your money. You'll be out there like a workhorse. Not able to retire like Mary J. Blige. Yes. And then when you're in your 60s, when you turn 60, right? You're having to work. And he's still in his early 50s. Then he'll, he'll dump you. 
Sad Even though we saw Don't do Mary Jane Blige. Because the older you get, you know, the, the harder it is, I think, when you go through these breakups. It's just, it's just harder on you, on your nervous system and all that. Don't put yourself through that. Yeah. Be very cautious. Be very cautious. Now, one thing I will say, and we said it before, all those people who hang around your house, I know they're your friends and all this stuff. JLo, you gotta keep people out of your relationship. That's what I will say. Both of y'all, like your team, no, that's all know hanging I'm around. I'm gonna say that this time because that mother ever can't be trusted. I can trust my people though. Yeah, but I, they I don't, don't have so many of them all around all the time. There has to be some that's type of saying, break. The I would way say. the stuff leaked out. You see, that's what they were I in a trust. public place. No, the way the stuff was leaking out. Remember, there were little leaks from when they got married after that first year. Oh yeah, yeah little yeah, yeah. leaks going on. I don't trust oh, your team that yeah, much, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That because there's sense. little leaks going on, like in your team. Yeah, there's too many people around all inside your home. That's why I will say. That makes sense. That makes so, sense. I mean, the same but, yeah. advice we gave to, who was it? Megan Stallion? She Did listened. She, yeah, she actually did, I think. She, she did listen, of, but she you know. She cleared out quite a bit of people. She got rid of party, but now she is with a no-name basketball player who has doesn't even shoot any, like, he, like he's a nobody in the NBA. And that's who she's with. I know, but you see a nice person. I don't know. The I NBA. Mean, I mean, as long as you're I'm, the I'm NBA. gonna give you his credentials, and you let me know if he's if, if okay, he's worth yeah, her time. He's but not he's a like a D-list NBA player. That's why I was hearing from somebody on TikTok who Damn. barely can TikTok, shoot. TikTok be so rough on people. TikTok is actually way nicer than Instagram. TikTok is nice. Instagram is where all the evil people are. That's what <laughs> I have realized. Like the people who don't really support you, the people who oh, are really? mean. A lot of them are on TikTok, and I feel like, anyway, let me not go Oh, you said on Instagram. No, on Instagram. On TikTok, is a very open, very loving, very supportive community. On Instagram, it's a lot harder to grow, and that's just from my experience from being on all these different social accounts. Well, you will know, because I'm not on social media. TikTok is like a little, beautiful family. Instagram is more like, show like a perfect lifestyle, whatever the case may be, and stuff like that. And so- Because God is forgiving there. Yeah, but also it's just a, sort of, it's a really aesthetic thing. Mm. TikTok is just like really informative. It's really entertaining. And it's a little gotcha. bit like rough. It's kind of like a scrapbook. Gotcha. Instagram is kind of like the wedding photos, like where everything is pretty and polished. But this, but TikTok is kind of like, like you vlogging. see all of the you see all the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we gotcha. all just come together. We kind of like we're just like accepting. Gotcha. So I like TikTok more. Okay. With Instagram, I feel more kind of like like this with oh, TikTok I'm like free I can post whatever oh. I want I can even post me being in bed like oh hey you guys what's up and I have to be like oh my god like in bed like oh I'm recording a video like I don't have any makeup on no, or I think I'm me. wondering why bother being on something that makes you feel like this why why bother at all I think it's the people anyway I have to clean I'm going to probably block yeah. a lot of people that I know <laughs> that's the that's why I thought bro that's why I don't be posting yeah, like don't that be on because I have that a lot makes of people you feel like that like that's well, I mean, like, I just I feel like because I might think my Instagram is kind of like my portfolio because I post my artwork there, I post my um, fashion designing there. Like it's just it's a display of what I do as an artist, as a fashion gotcha. designer. So like I can't just post any and everything. Like I have to be more right. cautious. Gotcha. Uh, with TikTok, it's like listen, I, yeah. if I don't want my aunt, my cousins, I just block them. Okay, I don't gotcha. have people following me following me on my TikTok. Okay, so that's like your resume in a sense, your your Instagram. Yeah, okay, per se. Gotcha. How do we get on this? What were we talking about? Um, I think we finished talking about it. We advised JLo. Right. Yes. Um, that's all I'll say, <laughs> JLo. Don't this this little scammer. Oh, please don't do this. Oh. I am. Please, JLo, don't do this. This this Remember going that down. Remember little smile that made me used to think, oh, he's so cute. This little mm-hmm. I didn't know smile he, he was cute. I never thought he was cute. But, okay, you know, was little like, smile. Yeah, I mean, he's not one of the guys. You know, there's a guy that I, I really like. What was his name? The one who has like a cut on his left. I, I don't want to say Robert De Niro. No, it's not Robert. Yeah, it's not you. Actually, I'm not saying you. Robert right. De Niro used to be look, so. really used to look really cute when he was like in his fifties. I thought he was attractive. Yeah. I mean, even though I'm like 26. I would say Robert De Niro. Um, but it was that guy, guy from um, the wedding. 
My best friend's my best wedding. Friend. He played the guy that Julia Roberts was chasing after. He's really yeah. cute. I just he's just something about him. He's not really like a cute, cute person, but you know. He has a very uh, unique look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just something about him. And then there was that guy. Remember the guy with all the white hair? Yeah, I know. He has the he's oh like he's like country, a... like really deep raspy voice. I don't know what movie he was in. Oh, he's so funny. Oh, you know what movie he was in? Golden Compass. Oh, yes. He he played one of the men that helped the girl on the that one on who the, had the golden ship. hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Him. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. Boring. So he's been married for like forty years, forty something years actually. He's you know who I also thought was very cute? Hugh Jackman. He's fine. Yeah. I love he's me some Hugh Jackman. That man right. is. He fine. Me. Yeah. <laughs> he he is. Oh, yeah, he's also fine. I thought we were talking about Caucasian older men. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just talking, no, I'm just talking about my celebrity crushes. crushes. Yeah, common. Common is fine, but he when he but started he, dating Tiffany oh, Haddish, I I kind of lost attraction. I'm like, how you date somebody like that? Like, she was here doing like pedophile skits and shit. I'm I like, wouldn't say pedophile skits. It was though. allegedly. It was on the team. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, don't even come here for this channel, okay? <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Anyway. Hey, we gotta go because we spent like 20 minutes on this thing. Um, but y'all let us know what y'all think about this whole stuff. But we'll J-Lo see you guys. And all that don't stuff. do it, J Lo. Why? 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 Drop him like a bad habit. I do what Alma said. Like, Divorce him. Yes. Remarry him. Call Chris Jenner for the prenup and call it a day. <laughs> yes. You better call Chris Jenner. You better call her, okay? Let her people handle all of that and just tell them, you know something? That was the mistake before. You know, we need to not worry about property and money. Let's just focus on our love. See how quick he runs. <laughs> anyway, but we'll see you guys on the next video.